Right, with us we have Gideon Nazilovsky, Namibia's um, disabled swimmer, who's now established several African records, really going places. Gideon, it's a fantastic journey you've had, starting competitively in 2011, but in the beginning things were not so good. Just give us a short wrap on your, your history there. Yeah, you know, at uh, 2011 it wasn't good at all, you know, but um, through perseverance and persistence I came back from 2011, I went into 2012 and I did much better. I uh, became uh, number 23 in the world in 2013 and then I just kept, kept on and worked even harder and I went up until 2013 where I became the first Paralympic swimmer to go to a, a world championships and there I ended number 16 in the world and at the moment I'm number one in Africa and five different events and it's a great honor to represent your country at this level. Right, just take us back to 2011, um, the first time you participated in South Africa at the SA Championships. What went wrong then and how did it actually go there? You know, I wasn't familiar about the Paralympic sport at all. You know, I, I, I had to shave off a lot of weight and I had to get into shape just to go to a first competition. And as I got there, I saw these guys, they were severely disabled, but, you know, putting them in the water, the, 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 the spirit, and they just were great athletes and they were very fit and they just swam their hearts out and I knew right there and then that I, I should do what they are doing. I should just work harder because this is all possible but the thing is and the key ingredient is hard work and persistence. Yeah and that's exactly what it is. I mean you basically coming from nowhere you went back worked very hard and then achieved all these amazing records and put your country on the map. Um, just tell us a bit about your training and how much effort goes into that. Now you start training about 5 o'clock in the morning and then you stay up until 8 o'clock in the morning. Then you go to work and then directly after work 5 o'clock you have to be back at the gym and I'm staying there up until 9. I swim about 3 to 4 hours a day. I also play squash, I do treadmill, I do health walk, I do weights, I do everything just to be the best that I can be, you know, to be in the best shape. And like you said, I, want to, I, I did put my country on the map, but still, I want to achieve greatness. And I want to show to the young people of Namibia that, you know, through sport, you can at least achieve something. You know, you don't have to sit at home, or you don't have to look at your disability, or you don't have to look at your problems. Just go for it. Just live life to the fullest and become somebody and make something of your life. Right, and Gideon, last year you went to the World um, IPC Championships in Montreal. How was that experience? Wow, it was like a dream come true, you know, just to have, I was a flag bearer, having my country flag there, you know, and just walking and, and doing what I always said I wanted to do and always said that I can do and being able to achieve something that you have set yourself to do. It's a major, major accomplishment for me and, and, you know, it was a great honor just to have Namibia there and you know because this is a world championships Namibia is part of the world it's time that we should be at all world championships no matter what the sport code is we should just be there and your achievement was also you were selected as one of the top 50 um, achievements at those games tell us about that yeah, IPC have recognized my uh, um, participation at the world championships as one of the 50 biggest uh, moments in sport in 2013 you know, because of the history that I made for the country and I also enjoyed the spirit and the way I did my sport. You know, sometimes it's not all about winning and losing, but it is the way you carry yourself and the way you do your sport. You know, it's, it's all about sportsmanship and that is what I proved to the world and I showed the world that Namibians are great athletes and we have respect for each other and, that, uh, and I, was, I was amazed that I was uh, nominated or I, I got number 49 of the world's biggest um, sporting events of 2013. Great, and then tell us about the way forward, what are your aims for 2014? 2014 I'm going to take part uh, in April at Durban in the SA National Senior National Championships of South Africa. That is the biggest swimming championships in the whole of South Africa and you know if you can do well in South Africa you can do well anywhere in the world because South Africa is a strong swimming nation and I'm set to go and beat them. I'm set to go and win some medals again, break some records and again become one of the Africa's best swimmers and this time I want to be in the top 10 of the world's best swimmers. That is what I want to do. Great. And then also today, a great day for you, getting a personal sponsorship from Future Energy. Tell us about that. 
Yes, I'm amazed, you know, that I can get a sponsorship from, from them. I'm very happy about this. This is what I always wanted for a Paralympic athlete, is that corporate companies can come on board and start assisting us, giving us a, a little bit of sponsors. Even if it starts slow, it just needs to start, because I believe that through sports, there's a lot of positive things that can come out. And, you know, Namibia can be a force to be reckoned with if we can just have some a little bit financial backing from corporate companies. And this all is possible.